that layer is like 1700s, early yeah. 1700s. Right. But if this was some sort of a road, then maybe they were hauling something up there. So Gary and I were down here detecting to see if we could get any evidence and... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that can get lost in and amongst those rocks. From the enrichment of one's pocket thanks to the fact that they chased their treasure hunting dream while setting off on several different business ventures to those who may only be in it for the thrill of the treasure hunting mission, here's how the Oak Island crew finally got paid after selling money pit treasure. When one looks into the mystery of Oak Island, one can see how it was easy to capture the fascination of viewers worldwide. We can all remember searching for one treasure or the other as we were growing up and as such, we can appreciate the likes of the Lagina brothers and the Curse of Oak Island crew. We've all watched as they dedicated their lives to searching for the treasure that is rumored to be hidden on this island. Although it may look like they were set to join the long line of people who have failed to find this treasure, it looks like this captivating crew may have finally come across the reward that they had all been waiting for. This entire treasure hunting journey truly began when Prometheus Entertainment made contact with the Oak Island crew back in the 2010s. They did so with the intention to create a TV series based on the treasure hunting adventure that the Lagina brothers and their crew were already on as they attempted to recover the treasure that was rumored to be hidden on this strange island. Once the parties signed the contract with the ANE Network, a contract that was worth $20 million, the Lagina brothers got to work on the series by serving as directors, executive producers, and the on-screen talent as well. That is after investing their own personal funds into the project, thereby showing that they were all in. They were going to achieve their dreams one way or the other. With all these resources in place, it was fair enough for the Lagina brothers and their collaborators to be able to achieve some level of success in the first season of the Curse of Oak Island TV documentary series. The show was so successful that it earned renewals that spanned across several seasons. It even allowed for the birth of the spin-off series, Beyond Oak Island. All these highlighted the fact that the powers that be were right to bet on the Lagina brothers. They were so right that they were able to ensure that the show stayed for about 11 seasons so far, all of which allowed for almost 200 episodes in the last decade or so. Thanks to the fact that the Lagina brothers were able to televise their adventure to the world, we have been able to appreciate the wins that the Curse of Oak Island crew has enjoyed during their adventure on the mysterious island. As the show ran, one could notice that Rick Lagina was earning the respect of everyone who was involved with the production of the show. As such, Rick not only featured in the show as an on-screen character, he also eventually assumed the roles of director and producer for many of the 200 episodes of the show. As if that wasn't impressive enough, Rick and his brother Marty also began to make guest appearances on several shows such as The Late Night Show with Stephen Colbert. As a result of this success, Rick realized that his net worth grew to an impressive $10 million by February 2024. On the other hand, Marty was able to use his abilities as an engineer, producer and entrepreneur to earn himself a net worth of about $110 million. Although he had made a lot of money in engineering, natural gas energy in the show, Marty also gets a pretty penny from his real estate investments, especially the two expansive estates that he has back home in Kingsford, Michigan and Cleveland. As if that isn't impressive enough, he also owns property in places like LA, Las Vegas and New York. As such, one can see how Marty has been able to carve a successful and lucrative career for himself over the years. That isn't to say that he didn't come across some issues while he was finding his way to success. He has had his fair share of animosity, especially when it came to issues that were born due to his connection to the oil and gas sector. Apparently, Marty had told Randall Sullivan, the author of The Curse of Oak Island, of the many conflicts that he had due to his work in the oil and gas industry. What this tells us is that although one may have money, that doesn't mean that they are devoid of problems. Considering all these headaches, one may see how Marty may at least be getting some solace from the fact that his son, Alex Lagina, is also making his way in the world of reality television. Not only was he part of the cast of the Curse of Oak Island crew, he has become one of the main men on the show. This says a lot about the young man who was born in 1987 in Traverse, Michigan. Once he was able to get to the island with his father, 
Alex was adored on the show thanks to his appearances on the show. He too was around as the team unearthed several artifacts that could be dated back to many centuries ago. As such, one can see how the Laginus are heavily invested in solving the mysteries of this mysterious island. Ever since it hit our screens back in January of 2012, this show has been on hand to follow the Lagina brothers and their crew as they gave their all so that they could find the treasure that is rumored to be hidden on the island. For the last seven seasons, Alex has been contributing his expertise to their effort. In the 51 episodes that he appeared in, he has shown how important his background as an engineer is, just like his father. As such, not only is he able to contribute to the excavation exercises that take place on the island, he is also able to be on hand to help with some of the important discoveries that have been made in the course of the show. If anything, Alex's presence and contributions on the show gives us some insights as to the many talented people that are working to succeed where many others have failed for more than 200 years now. That said, it may be fair to say that the mysteries of Oak Island alone may have enough to draw anyone in without the contribution of the Lagina brothers and their crew. Without them, the Curse of Oak Island TV show may have been able to survive based only on the combination of the historical fascination with what happened there and the many relics that can be found there. However, one must remember that for the show to be what it is today, the personal dedication and the expertise of the Lagina brothers and many of the members of the crew played a major role. Much like the rest of the members of his family, Alex also has a diverse portfolio which contains his involvement in several different business ventures outside of what he does on Oak Island. For example, he is the general manager of the family's vineyard and a contributor to a wind turbine manufacturer. Even on Oak Island, he is involved in other business ventures as he is the overseer of the Oak Island Tours Company, a company that gives treasure hunting enthusiasts a first-hand experience of Oak Island and its many secrets. As such, it seems as though Alex is doing very well for himself as he's been able to develop a net worth of about $50 million. Some of this money may have come from his participation in documentaries such as The Curse of Civil War Gold. If anything, this shows that the love for treasure hunting runs through the veins of the Lagina family. Despite this departure from his father's shadow, Alex is very much alive and well, despite what may be going on in the rumor mills. Not only that, he is also very much involved in his family's businesses and as such, he tries to maintain a low profile in his personal life despite his growing fame. This has probably helped him maintain his growing wealth without facing too many distractions from the outside world. As such, one can see how he may be set to maintain and develop his wealth in the years to come. As much as the Laginus have been able to achieve a certain level of success over the years, some may say that they may have never gotten to this point if they didn't have the help of Marty's longtime friend, business partner and on-screen castmate, Craig Tester. Craig and Marty have been friends ever since they shared the same dorm room while they were studying engineering at Michigan Technological University. Thanks to his role as a cast member as well as his prowess as a businessman and an engineer, Craig has been able to earn a respectable net worth over the years. Thanks to his time on the show, one can see how he has been able to earn a reputation as a respectable treasure hunter over the years. Not only that, he's also been able to earn some much appreciated experience in the world of reality TV. We must remember that this is an engineer who was on hand to help establish heritage sustainable energy along with his longtime friend Marty Lagina. As such, one can see how he is a role model for those who are trying to figure out how to carve careers in the oil and gas business, in the treasure hunting business or in reality TV. One would find that not only did Craig and Marty work together in the oil and gas business, they had also gone into business together by going on their treasure hunting trips together. While here, Craig has been indispensable to the team thanks to his expertise in drilling and resistivity, things that some could say were notable contributors to the pair's success in the oil and gas industry. As such, one could see how he's been able to develop a good relationship with those at the ANE Network and the History Channel. As such, Craig, just like some of the other members of the Curse of Oak Island team, has seen how this has allowed for a boost in his financial stability. As such, one can see how Craig Tester's presence on the show is a symbol of creativity, television production and great financial decisions. 
Thanks to his ability to make his way through diverse sectors of business shows his great aptitude and as such, it should actually come as no surprise that this man was able to achieve a certain level of success that goes only for some. It makes sense that he is an important figure in both the entertainment business and the energy sector. When one looks into it, one may actually not be able to get the accurate figures of how much these reality TV stars may be making. That said, we all know that these guys, especially the guys that are part of a successful show, would always be able to earn a great amount of money thanks to their work in bringing such shows to life. As such, both the network and the stars are aware that this could lead to great financial success for all those involved. This is no different for Craig Tester who not only earns a stable income from the show but also is in a space where he could capitalize on it to give him more visibility in the outside world. All these things will definitely come in handy as he attempts to develop his ever-growing wealth. Thankfully, Tester was wise enough to diversify his income past the world of the oil and gas industry as well as reality TV. That is why he's been able to make a lot of money in real estate. Thanks to his rental properties, he's been able to gain a lot of rental revenue. Not only that, he must be pleased to have something that only increases in value as time goes on. That could only serve to boost his financial worth even more. Considering how successful Tester has been over the years, fans as well as certain financial analysts out there have been waiting to see what else Tester was going to get up to. This would give them some insight as to how his financial wealth will evolve in the years to come. As interesting as it is to have the likes of the Laginus and Craig Tester on the show, we must not fail to acknowledge the historical stalwart that was Dan Blankenship. One of the things that made Dan special was the fact that he was an experienced treasure hunter with more than 50 years worth of knowledge and exploration of the mysterious island. During this time, he was able to amass a net worth of about $1 million. That said, a good chunk of it came from his work with the Curse of Oak Island TV show and the crew. Alas, one will find that just like the many others who tried to search for the treasure that was supposed to be hidden on the island, Dan would also fail to unearth this mysterious treasure. Despite this, Dan became one of the most respected and most recognized members of the show as time went on. Consequently, Dan was able to use his earnings on the show as well as what he made from other business ventures to support his family during his lifetime. One may now be able to see how the success of the show has helped the stars live a decent lifestyle as it helped enrich said stars. One of such stars that were enriched by the show is Gary Drayton, a world-class metal detecting expert and treasure hunter who became one of the most important cast members of the Curse of Oak Island TV series. Just like the Laginus, Gary had a childhood fascination with treasure hunting and as such, this endeared him to most of the fans who shared a similar love for finding treasure. As such, they were all enamored with him when he displayed the patience, endurance and perseverance that any respectable treasure hunter would need if they were ever going to come across the treasure that they were looking for. As a result, these virtues have helped him discover a large amount of historical relics and artifacts as time went on. Consequently, there must have only been a handful of people who could ever dare question his expertise when it came to detecting metal in the ground. As time went on, the fans began to appreciate how this was a far cry from the shores of England where Gary was born on the 30th of May, 1961. While he's a graduate, Gary couldn't ignore his calling as a metal detecting expert. Nonetheless, he still had to work his way up and while he was living in his hometown of Grimsby, he worked as a bottle digger for some years where he scoured pits and riverbanks for antique bottles, clay pipes and other artifacts. Maybe, this is why he's been able to make discoveries that included items that dated back to the Roman occupation. Thankfully, Gary was able to get to this point in his career after relocating to South Florida where he could do some beach sweeping to see what he could find there. Thanks to this, Gary has been able to help the team make many significant discoveries on Oak Island. We're talking about gold rings, other forms of jewelry, coins, and even Spanish treasure. It is perhaps due to this patience and skill that he displayed in the course of the show that Gary was able to gain the attention of the producers of the show and other producers in Hollywood. Thanks to this, he was able to make several appearances on TV before he even became part of the cast of the Curse of Oak Island TV show. 
Soon, he became the resident metal detecting expert on the highest rated treasure hunting show in the United States of America. Consequently, the renowned treasure hunting expert and TV personality was able to earn a net worth of about $3 million. A pretty tidy sum if you ask us. Maybe some of the money came from the discovery of a beautiful 3,000-year-old emerald treasure ring that was said to be valued at about $500,000. Now that is some treasure. Some of this money also came from his publications which detailed the techniques that he used to perform his metal detecting exercises on beaches and in water. This allows others aspiring to become metal detecting experts themselves to gain some knowledge from this expert's experience. With any luck, this would help such people come across some treasure of their own. As much as Gary Drayton is heralded for his metal detecting expertise, we must also acknowledge Jack Begley, another integral member of the team that is searching for treasure on Oak Island. His work there has helped him earn a net worth of about $5 million. As opposed to the metal detecting expert, one would find that Jack's cash comes from several different income streams, some of which include his involvement in reality TV thanks to his appearance on the Curse of Oak Island TV show. As much as we cannot ignore the fact that he is the stepson of Craig Tester, one would find that they may not be able to go on if Jack didn't play his role on the show. Interesting right? What could he actually be doing while he's on Oak Island? Well, Jack is known to get his hands dirty for the sake of the show and if he isn't seen helping Gary with his metal detecting exercises, then he's always on hand to dive deep within the muck to help the team discover any artifacts that may help them find the treasure that is rumored to be hidden somewhere on the island. That's not all as he's been able to take advantage of his drone and scuba diving skills. This has helped him become almost indispensable to the Curse of Oak Island team that's why it is even more remarkable to hear that Jack also has other business ventures outside the Curse of Oak Island TV show. For starters, he co-established Remote Energy Solutions in 2018. This was done with the aim of bringing sustainable energy solutions in some of the most remote regions in the US. That said, this hasn't distracted him from his role as a producer on the Curse of Oak Island TV show since 2015. As time goes on, the team has been eager to dive deep into the search for this treasure that is rumored to be hidden on this mysterious island. Ever since Daniel McGuinness found the infamous depression that eventually became known as the original Money Pit. Since then, all these people have been scouring the island while searching for this treasure. Some claim that the treasure that may be buried on the island may have belonged to Captain Kidd while others believe that the treasure may have belonged to the Knights Templar. Not only do these claims exist, people have discovered several pieces to support many theories, no matter how unlikely they might be. While these discoveries may have filled the world with wonder, one would find that they still haven't led to the discovery of the treasures that so many have been searching for on the island. As such, one can see how some believe that as long as the TV show is enriching them, the Lagina brothers and the crew may not be wholly invested in discovering this treasure. However, even Rick Lagina has indicated that he and the crew are ready to move on if it shows that they will never be able to recover this hidden treasure. Let's see what time will say about that. For now, we may just have to watch and see if the Lagina brothers and their crew can ever find the treasure of Oak Island. From the enrichment of one's pocket thanks to the fact that they chased their treasure hunting dream while setting off on several different business ventures to those who may only be in it for the thrill of the treasure hunting mission, here's how the Oak Island crew finally got paid after selling money pit treasure. <laughs>